Maybe you could teach me your methods. That's good. More fierce, though. <laughs> <laughs> Too fierce. I'll pull back the fierce. So, we're here at a cat cafe. Yeah. It's very appropriate to talk about Yumi. Yumi is a magical cat from Bandle City. When we developed Yumi, we wanted to do a kind of unique take on a cat since she's in Runeterra. So she has magic. She has a weird little light thingy on her forehead. I that love glows. the light. <laughs> yep. Um, and of course, she can fly too, which is not something most yeah. cats I've seen can do. But Yumi is is like a lot of cats in that she's kind of distractible. She's constantly on the hunt for fish. She's constantly on the hunt to take a nap. As you know, her master mysteriously disappeared into the Book of Thresholds, which is a book of magical portals that instantly teleport you anywhere. This cat's feet are on this cat's head. So portals. <laughs> <laughs> the book is a sentient book, so Yumi and Book are now searching for their master somewhere out in the world. And that's where I come in. When I first read the script, I was like, whoever wrote this must own cats or just have a lot of cat experience. Yes, it's true. So I was really excited to audition for this yeah. character. So what was it like getting in the mind of the cat when you were preparing for this role? I have such a bond with my own cats that I just kind of pulled all of their behavior and their characteristics yeah. and infused that into Yumi. I always like to imagine what my cat's voices would sound like if yeah. they could talk. Oh my gosh. So it's just like really easy for me to pop into cat mode. I like that, pop into cat mode. I didn't want to be too serious, but Yumi's also very fierce. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like a playfulness and a fierceness combined. Literally, when I was making her meow sounds, I was like clawing. Claw. I yeah. don't know if you yeah, guys yeah, saw. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it would be like yeah. One of the challenging things about Yumi was I had nothing to react off of because book never talks. There aren't even lines written for book. Mm -hmm. And that's how we got a lot of the different line options. Where's my fishy fish fish for my dishy dish dish? Where's my fishy fish fish for my dishy dish yeah, yeah. dish? Yes, like that. that. Yeah. yeah, I thought that was cool and creepy. <laughs> we recorded it so many ways. We did. So how did you come up with Yumi? On Champion's team, we have a designer, a narrative writer, and an artist work together to develop a new character. And it starts with blue sky ideation, so we can come up with lots and lots of different ideas. With this Champion, we knew we wanted to have a cute support, but that was pretty much it. So um, we came up with the idea of a cat because we hear the internet really likes cats. Um, also, I really wanted to have a cat Champion that I could play, and I thought it would be fun as a writer to capture the kind of strange, quirky personality of a cat. And in the development process, we had the conversation where we weren't actually sure if Yumi was gonna have voiceover lines in the beginning. We thought maybe she would just meow, but part of the fun of this job for me as a writer was to imagine like what, if, if a cat did have words, what would they be saying? Because their minds are very different from people's minds. Yeah. <laughs> When I was watching um, some of the animations early on, a lot of Yumi's movements were so cat-like, like the licking of the paws, and then she like scratches yes. the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. like, every cat does that. Yeah, it's yeah. like so spot on. We were able to come visit a cat cafe and kind of observe them as they're running around. And some of the artists brought sketch pads and drew the cats. And it, it was, that is it so was fun. Super inspirational. And yeah. Awesome. <laughs> As, as an actor, I'm always like taking things from real life and like putting them in my toolkit and saving them for later. And then if I don't have a real life experience that relates to what the character is going through, I use a lot of imagination. But one of the things I love about VO is that you can be things that you would never be able to be like on TV and film. Like a cat. <laughs> like a cat or a creature. Yeah, nice. Because I think subconsciously I am a cat. Yes. Well, your past life, as we talked yeah, about. Yeah, I have so many cat characteristics. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but it works. Yeah, it does work. <laughs> yeah, it worked for you, me. It did. <laughs> I've got a good feeling about this one, Book. <laughs>